XXL. Here he is, Stitchy Poo. Oh yeah, he has a little bit of a skin condition here. Uh, you can't see it too much anymore because we're taking care of it now. But there was a lot of bald spots. You can see where his fur is like dark in some spots here. Um, like dark here, here. Mm, where was it, Stitch? Yeah, you could see it was a little bit here, here, here. Bald spots. This was all bald. And it was because um, Stitchy is allergic to wheat. And we cut him off from the wheat. Pretty much cut him off from most dog's foods. Hey, Stitch, come on down. Down, down, down. Now he's doing good. Hey, Stitch. Huh? Getting nice and big again, huh? Yeah, that's a good boy. I'll show you what you guys got to feed him. We're feeding him three times a day, some scraps, mostly meat, a lot of protein, um, oats, yeah, oats, eggs, a lot, a lot of scraps, not too much dog food. He eats like three scoops of dog food a day, not too much. And it, it's really working, his skin's getting, you can see, Got a lot of fur coming off though. That could be because it's spring, but yeah, this was all bald spots. You could see here. This was all bald. Yeah, that that was all bald. Now it's growing in good. And a stitch. Huh? Yeah, see and that used to be all itchy now. It's now it's all good. And a lot of this is common in pit bulls. And my buddy happened to my buddy's dog. And uh, his dog is doing the same thing. So I told him, you switch his diet up a little bit, give him a lot of water, um, keep him off the wheat, uh, switch him to a dog food that doesn't have wheat. They sell them at the vets. They're, uh, the one I'm using is DD. Uh, it's got absolutely no wheat. Uh, it's like a hundred bucks a bag. So just put a scoop in at breakfast, scoop in at lunch, two scoops. I give Stitch two scoops. Uh, it's like two cups, and uh, and with with the scraps, that's why he's so big and healthy. If anything, he's a little bit too too big. Hey, Stitch, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I think he's good. I think he's good. Hey, Stitch. What kind What kind of tricks do you know, Stitch? Huh? Let's see. Let's see. Set. No treats. No treats. Shake a paw. Oh, good boy. Let's see. Shake a paw. Nice pops, nice pop. Other paw, good boy, good boy. This one, this one, good boy. This one, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. This one, yeah, this one, come on, come on. Nice, nice puppy. Lay down, down, lay down. Good boy, Stitch. Yeah, yeah, come on, lay down. Yeah, come on, come on, lay down, lay down, lay down. Lay down. Oh, good puppy. Yeah, roll over, roll over. Oh, nice puppy. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Stitch. Good boy. Huh? Yeah, he is a friendly dog. Really friendly. Pit bulls, they're really friendly dogs. Um, he's good with my daughter. My daughter was raised with Stitch. Pretty much got him at the same time. Stitch right here. He's only 12 months old, born December 27th, 2017. So yeah, he's a year and a couple months old, Stitch. He's gonna get bigger for sure. His dad's huge. His dad's like 130 pounds. Stitch will be as big as his dad, I'm pretty sure, you could say. He's got his mom's head though and his mom's color. Hey, Stitch. Oh, uh, that's a good boy, huh? Yeah, now we just gotta find you a girlfriend. Hey, hey boy. Yeah, huh? Yeah, that's good. That's good boobies, huh? Yeah, over here, I might as well show you guys his dog food. His room might be a little messy. This is Stitch's room here. Keep him in the crate, which is good for training dogs. Uh, I can show you guys how to train a dog with that too, if you guys wanna. Check that out. Maybe I'll post a video on that one day. 
But this right here is the dog we had him on and it's got a little bit of wheat on it and this is when we discovered he was allergic to wheat. And it didn't start happening until he got older, which is weird. Uh, maybe they grow into it, I don't know. But now, now he's allergic. He never used to be allergic. This is the one we had him on for the longest time. Now, um, I'm trying this one. This is just another one you can buy at Walmart. Uh, I'm trying that one. So far it's not too good. But this one right here, the $100 bag right here. I recommend this one. Prescription diet. Skin food sensitivities. DD. Clinical nutrition. This is the one, guys. If you guys can get this at your store, get this one. Because this is the one that really helps Stitch uh, heal his back. Just one bag of this, he's good. And it's healed up pretty good. Now we could eat normal dog food again. But. I recommend just getting that one. Come on, Stitch. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is gonna be one of my videos on YouTube. I'm gonna start posting out some videos. Hey, Stitch, me and Stitch. If you guys wanna see how Stitch is doing. Also, we're gonna be getting Lilo. Um, gonna be getting nice female, just as big as Stitch. Another, another big dog. This way we have two and we can breed them and yeah, go from there. So, here you go, Stitch. Huh? There you are. Good boy, please. <laughs>